The number of hits to a website follows a Poisson process. Hits occur at the rate of 1.4 per minute between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. Given below are the three scenarios for the number of hits to the website. We want to compute the probability of each scenario between 7.49 p.m. and 7.53 p.m. and then we're going to interpret each result. Now if the random variable x follows a Poisson process then we can use the following probability rule to compute Poisson probabilities. P of x is equal to lambda times t to the power of x over x factorial times e to the negative lambda t where x represents the particular probability that we're looking for. Lambda is the average number of occurrences of the event in some interval of length 1 and then e represents 2.71828. Okay, now t represents the length of time. So in our particular problem, okay, the first thing is we need to determine, okay, what does lambda equal? Well, lambda is going to equal the, uh, the average number of occurrences, which is the rate of 1.4 per minute. And then we also know that the value of t is going to equal 4, because that is the difference between the scenario time that we're talking about. Because if we take 753 and subtract 749, we're going to get the value of 4. Now, I'm just going to show the first part of our formula, because... What's going to happen is, is that if we put in our formula, we know that lambda, okay, is equal to 1.4. And we also know that t is going to represent 4. Okay, now if we plug this into our formula, this is what we would get. Now, the next thing we need to determine is, okay, what happens when we multiply these two together? When we multiply them together, it's going to give us a value of 5.6. Okay, this actually equals the mean. Okay, so if we wanted to use our TI-84 calculator, we need to verify what this mean represents. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our calculator to find this result. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at is it's asking us for exactly five. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select second and then select the distribution button. So we're going to select that and then we're going to scroll down to where we see Poisson PDF. Now when you're looking at PDF, this is going to allow us to use the exactly version of our calculation. So here we're going to select enter. Now it's going to ask us to put in the value of lambda, but actually it's asking us for the mean. So the mean in our problem is 5.6. Okay, and then what is the x value? Well, the x value is exactly 5. And so now we're going to select paste. And then we're going to go ahead and select enter. Okay, so now that we selected enter, let's verify our probability using the formula. Okay, well, we can see here that we get 0 0.1697 rounded to four decimal places. Okay, so now how do we translate this? We would translate this as the following. Rounding this to two decimal places gives us 0 0.17, which then becomes 17 over 100. So that means on about 17 of every 100 time intervals between 7.49 p.m. and 7.53 p.m., the website will receive, okay, well, it says here exactly with what we're looking for, and then five hits. Okay? All right, now let's move on to the next one. It says fewer than five. So we want to calculate the probability of less than five occurrences by calculating the sum of the probabilities of all occurrence, occurrence values that are less than five. So when we would look at this as a formula, this is going to be probability of x being less than five, which is equal to the probability of x being less than or equal to four. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, we need to find the cumulative values, meaning that what is the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2 plus the probability of 3 plus the probability of 4? Okay, because we need to find a cumulative, which means we're finding exactly 0, exactly 1, exactly 2. So we need to use a slightly different formula on our calculator. So let me go ahead and open up the calculator. And again, we're going to go back to second and then distribution. And then we're going to go all the way down. And then if you notice, we have a Poisson CDF. 
and that C represents cumulative because here we're looking for fewer than five, not exactly. Exactly we use the previous one. When we're looking for a cumulative, we're going to use the Poisson CDF. So we're going to select enter. Okay, now again, what is the value of lambda, meaning the mean? Well, we know the mean is 5.6. Okay, and now what is the X value? Well, the X value that we want to start at is 4 and below. So that means we want to make sure that we're putting in 4. Okay, and then we're going to select paste and then select enter. And then here, we're going to see that it's calculating everything all the way up to the value of 4. This means that it added the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1 all the way to the probability of 4. Let's verify that rounded to four decimal places, which would be 0.3422, would be our probability. So looking at our result, you will see the following. We get 0.3422 as our probability. Okay, now what we would do is now we're going to then round this to two decimal places, which is 0 0.34, which is equal to 34 over 100. So we would say that on about 34 of every 100 time intervals between 749 and 753 p.m., the website will receive, okay, fewer than five hits. Okay, next, let's look at part C. Okay, it says at least five. So we're going to use the complement rule to obtain the value for an at least probability for a Poisson process. So this means that if it's at least five, we're looking for the probability of X being greater than or equal to five, which is equal to one minus the probability of X is less than five. Now remember that this is the same thing as one minus, okay, the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus the probability of two plus the probability of three plus the probability of four because we're not including the five here for the fact that we're looking at the at least. Remember that the opposite of greater than or equal to is less than. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna use our calculator. Okay, now in this case here, we're using the complement rule. So we need to take one and then we need to subtract and now we need to go back to the second and then distribution and then again, we're going to scroll all the way down. Okay, now, which one are we going to use? Well, this doesn't say exactly 5. This says less than 5, so we have to use the cumulative. So we're going to use Poisson CDF. Okay, we're going to put in the mean of 5.6. And we know that the value that's less than 5 is going to start at 4. Because we're looking for 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we're going to select Paste. So that means we're taking one, if you look here before I press enter, we're taking one and then subtracting the value of the probability of that X is less than five. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And then we should get 0.65785. Rounding this to four decimal places, we should get 0.6579. Let's verify this here. Okay, well what happens? You can see that we're slightly off, right? That means if we rounded this, this would be 0.6579. So we need to be careful using the calculator because this one would have rounded to nine. So this would have made our, our answer possibly incorrect. Now, when we put our answer into my math lab or my stat lab, they would accept the fact that this would be 0 0.65 seven nine because it's very close to the actual answer and it will accept that okay now we need to first now find out what this would look like so we know that we're going to get 0 0.66 rounding it to two decimal places which becomes 66 over 100 so that means on about 66 of every 100 time intervals between 749 p.m and 753 p.m the website will receive at least five hits.